Hi, Michael Gaffney. I'm back at the San Francisco School of Flower Design. Uh, we've got a lot to learn today. We have classes all over the country, from one-day seminars to full eight, 12-week programs, turning you into a design star. This is the name of my book, Design Star, Lessons from the New York School of Flower Design. I'll tell you a funny joke. People think I named it about myself. I did not name it after myself. I named it after you. It is my job to turn you into a design star. So it's really titled after my students. Um, and we have schools all over the country taking you from uh, I know nothing to amazing designs very, very quickly. Uh, I'm thinking of this weekend, I had two students in Chicago who uh, uh, started out, you know, not a little lukewarm to uh, the process. And uh, eight weeks later, they are now yesterday designing for a women's expo in Chicago. Nene Leakes was there, and Naomi Judd was there. Anyway, they've turned into amazing designers. So the, the formulas we use at American School of Flower Design works. It works very well. You will learn how to design. You'll learn how to design confidently because it is following patterns, uh, technique, tools, and tricks of the trade. So today I'm going to show you some of that. Um, I love all greenery. I know you love these YouTube videos, so I'm going to give you a good one today. I love all greenery. Um, I always say a joke in school that if I were going to die, which I never will, but if I was, I would not have flowers on my casket. I would have all greenery because it is my favorite style of designing. So I've got a container. Let's get rolling. I've got a container. I got some foam. First tip of the day. Notice the foam is above the rim of the container. Um, you would think flat or below if you had never been to American School of Flower Design. That's, but that is not correct because in order to hit the foam, you're going to have to tilt your flowers on an angle. and. Your, your arrangement will look like it's sinking in quicksand and you'll only get this much coverage. So you need to have your foam above the rim for horizontal movement. So you get a full crown of flowers, tip of the day. The bigger the design, the higher above the rim of the container goes the foam, okay? Again, for horizontal insertions. If it was level, I'd have to do this to hit the foam and I'd only get this much coverage. We call that a little windshield wiper in class. The biggest difference between amateurs and pros is this. Pros get full windshield wipers, full rainbows of color. In this case, it'll be a full rainbow of greenery. So at the American School of Flower Design, this is just one of the millions of tips we teach you. And if you follow the tips, it works. Great designers um, are not necessarily um, at all the most artistic people or the most talented. They were the ones who were taught properly. So if you're taught properly, you can do this. I have never failed. So here we go. I'm going to start with an all greenery, a nice, urn container, and I'm just going to cut. This is called Salal, S-A-L-A-L. Follow carefully. I'm going all around the base. Not too tight, a little bit of space, you know, a little airy space in between. I'm going all around the base. I am setting the width of my design. How wide do I want it to be? So I'm using Salal. Salal, S-A-L-A-L, or lemon leaf. It's available anywhere. It is the base green that all designers use when they're designing flowers. So, see that? Who can't do that? See how easy my job is? Now I set the width, I'm gonna set the height. So I want it to be about this high. Here we go, see that dome? It's gonna be right there. I'm going to set the dome, set the height rather of my container and then I'm gonna fill it in. So it's kinda like building an igloo. I'm gonna build an igloo of, uh, of uh, greenery. So now I'm going to do what I call the middle deck. So we have the lower deck, the upper deck, and the penthouse. And now I'm going to fill in my uh, upper deck, rather. So lower deck, upper deck, penthouse. It's one of the techniques we, we talk about in class. So I'm going to spin my design. And again, using my base green of Salal, I'm going to form, let's make a little room so you can see this clearly. I'm going to form a very nice, I call it a ladybug. Green ladybug sitting on top of this container. So now I'm filling in the middle deck, the upper deck rather, right there. Some people call it the middle deck, middle deck or upper deck. So we're getting all three decks and I'm gonna even fill in between the decks, spinning my container. Like that. So I'll cost about $10 a bunch. So, so far I've used about uh, I'll use about one bunch, so about $10 worth of Salal will work for this size design. So, just greening it in. Upper deck, lower deck, penthouse. 
It's all in this book, Design Star, Lessons from the New York School of Flower Design. It's available on Amazon everywhere. So we're getting a nice shape. Can you see that? Very good. So Salal is our base green, B-A-S-E. It's where we start. And then we're going to texture our greens. Whoop. So I'm just finishing up with my base of Salal. See how pretty? Make sure you spin your design all the way around. One thing we stress at the school is a lot of designers, they, they go up and they always have one side of the design prettier than the others. Get used to spinning yours when you start designing so that all sides are beautiful. So here again, up, lower deck, upper deck, penthouse. Penthouse, upper deck, lower deck. We're greening in all of our decks today. And that's about right. Doesn't have to be totally packed. I always say when you look in the garden, you can always see the dirt if you look close enough between the tree, the, the leaves. So when you're designing, nothing worse than somebody who overgreens, packs it. So there's our base green of Salal, very pretty. Now let's see, what else do I have? I've got all kinds of goodies today. I'm going to take some magnolia. This is a very popular green, and now I'm going to start highlighting my Salal by using a secondary green, which are these beautiful green and brown magnolia leaves. So I'm going to set some of that, and the focal point on this design is the upper deck. Because when people look, they look right there. So if you're going to distribute your, your magnolia all around, make sure that it's featured in the upper deck. So now we're filling in this beautiful piece. I'm just snapping these off. You can cut them. We have clippers and cutters. So now we've added our magnolia. What else do we have? We've got beautiful seeded eucalyptus, very popular green. Seeded eucalyptus. I'm going to add a little bit of seeded uke. Notice how I'm holding this. This is one of the biggest tips in school. You try, you, at home, you try and hold your flowers like this. You need to hold it low and get your hand down in the volcano. I call it, and plant these materials, guiding it into your foam. So I'm holding it low, see that? Get my hand in there, it's okay, and feed, feed, feed into the container. So now we've added some beautiful seeded eucalyptus into our design. Again, always spinning around, checking it from all sides. And shaping it out so we've got a really nice shape going on. These are great for uh, holidays, pine, cedar, balsam. In springtime, I'll use uh, salal, uh, Italian ruscus, ivy. So very pretty, very purposeful, and they're all greenery, so you know they're going to last about a month. So I'm finishing up with my seeded yew, trimming it. I put a little in the penthouse, a little upper deck, a little bit of lower deck. There you go. What else can we add? We've got, um, now to give it some height, blow it out. So people notice it when they walk in the room. We'll add a little bit of curly willow. Who doesn't love curly willow? You all do, I know that. So I've got some curly willow here and I'm just gonna plant this and really stretch this up into the sky. Give it a big look. How's that? <laughs> Very good, so I can continue doing textured greens. If by chance you want to add flowers, you just set the flowers right on top of these greens and you've got a beautiful flower agent. So there's your all green in design, ready to go. I like to do these down the aisle for weddings. I like to do them outside of homes. I do them grand scale outside of department stores. Very easy, very breezy, beautiful designing from American School of Flower Design. Stay tuned because I'm gonna do another video before I leave town and we're gonna to do topiary trees. Uh, for any further information on our classes that are held all over the country, go to flowerschool101.com. You can also pick up the book Design Star on Amazon.com. Flower School 101 or call me, 877-322-5666. I'll probably answer the phone. Uh, thank you very much and keep blooming.